Good morning, beautiful people of the world. So today is moving day. So I'm just gonna go quickly make some breakfast with like the leftover food from oh, traveling. I won't. There's only dates, tofu, and milk. Right. So Ness made some like mango sorbet, and then some coconut milk, some tofu, and dates. That's my one date. And some coconut milk. And then just add your, And then just add your sorbet. And now we blend. I'm blending. Oh no, no, I'm not. Oh. I'll put you in the camera. You don't talk. <laughs> Honestly, most of this is just like milk. It looks milky with a tinge of orange. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's okay. I mean, made of leftovers, it's alright. It'll do. That'll do, don't care. That'll do. We're on the road again. I can't wait to be on the road, road again. All right, let's yeah, get to packing now. Sad. I'm going to tackle oh, this atomic yeah. bomb in my bedroom. <laughs> I am just not a neat traveler whatsoever. Never have been, probably never will be either. Just, this is just all I get to deal with this morning. So the packing's basically done. I've just got a few bathroom things to sort through. I swear, I don't know how I'm going to go in Canada if I'm this bad, just in one spot. I'll be like on the road for three of the five months. I've got packed for two seasons. So I don't know how that's going to go. Because I'm just like, every time I travel, guys, every time I travel, I just seem to, my stuff just seems to splay out. To be fair, it actually didn't take that long to pack my bag. Like once, and I didn't pack too much like on this trip because I was only gone for like, two weeks, so I don't see the point. It'll be interesting, like I said, to see how Canada goes with more clothes and a longer period of time. <laughs> it's like the most beautiful of beautiful days. Of all the days I've been here this week, today is the most beautiful. It's clear, it's sunny, it's a beautiful, complete blue sky, no clouds besides, you know, the speckled ones there. And we're driving away. Kind of ironic. I feel like that's just sums it up pretty much. Oh, by the way, guys, I remember it is Valentine's Day, so happy Valentine's to you all. You pro it'll probably be like, definitely be past Valentine's Day by the time I post this up. But thinking of you all today, hope you're having a wonderful, love filled day. <laughs> the breath is what got me. Oh, I wish I was a punk rock girl with flowers in my hair. Do ya? All done, all packed. I'm 100% getting my steps in for the day, doing these rounds. <laughs> On the road again. I can't wait to be on the road again. Take two of the road trip. Broad Beach, here we come. Broad, broad. I always see the Broad Church from this TV series, which is so good. I watched it. Uh, I always have to actively think Broad Beach, otherwise, I'm just going to automatically say Broad Church. <laughs>
two hours later. Oh, just excuse the fact that like my hair looks like this. I've just been to the beach and the pool. So where do I begin? So it is now Sunday, so the last I filmed was Friday, Valentine's Day. So I hope you all have had a wonderful weekend. So I'm just chilling on the floor here just to get a nice little cozy little catch up with you guys. So last I left off was when we got to Broad Beach on Friday, so Valentine's Day. Uh, I've had a very eventful couple of days. <laughs> my boyfriend came up to surprise me on Valentine's Day. I had no idea. Um, my family all kept it a secret. Um, so we're from Sydney, but we're currently like up north in the top of Australia just holidaying. So I was going to be away for Valentine's Day and I was away last year because we do this family holidays every year. And he was like, oh, okay. He's like, that's all right. I'll see you when you get back. And I was like, okay, yep, yeah, that's all right. I'm sorry I'm away for Valentine's Day. I'll miss you, blah, 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 all that kind of coupley stuff. Um, but what he didn't tell me and what he like kept as a surprise is that he like had flown up on the Friday to come and visit me and surprise me for Valentine's Day. <laughs> my heart. So what he had planned was that he was texting my sister to like get me in a position where I wouldn't see him come in. He'd like thought it all through. He wasn't sure how he was going to do it. He was later telling me like he had all these thoughts about like walking down the street and like I'd see him but I wouldn't believe it was him. It was really funny. So what he'd do is that we were at like a little food court in one of the shopping centres here on the Gold Coast. And what he had done is like he would got my sister like to face me. Um, so I was facing her and like into the centre and away from like the entrance area. So he'd come in and he'd surprise me um, from behind. So he came in and he like wrapped his arms around me. He's like, happy Valentine's Day. And for a split second, I was like, what the hell? Like, who's touching me? <laughs> but it was him, he'd come and he'd flown up. He'd got my sister to record it. Um, but I was crying like, so hard when I realized it was him. I turned around because I recognized his voice and in my head I was like battling for like this split second. Like, is it actually him? Is it really him? No, it's not him, he can't be here. But I recognized his voice and I turned around and I like clicked and I like was like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. And I just kept saying that over and over again and he's hugging me and I'm crying, like crying. And I don't mean like, you know, cute little like tears. I mean like snot crying, like. I was like sweating because my body was like in shock that he was there and I was like shaking. The best surprise I could ever have, ever, and it was on Valentine's Day. It was so, so, so sweet. He's a little bit romantic like that. So we spent the next couple of days, so he came over Valentine's Day and then we he had the whole day on Saturday. So we went to like this um, pizza place. We also went to this beautiful brunch spot um, along, was it Broad Beach area? And they do the best. I mean the best vegan gluten-free pancakes and waffles oh my god they were so good I'll insert a video of that too I think I have one on my snapchat um that was amazing and then we just went to the pool the beach and I just got to spend time with him which was really lovely it was just the fact that he'd come all the way up to surprise me it was so beautiful and so romantic and so thoughtful so that's what I've been doing the last couple of days just been hanging out with him hanging out with my family going to the beach, going to the pool, just enjoying this kind of, this kind of lifestyle. I do definitely one day, 100% want to move to the coast. It's just such a nice vibe. But I don't know if I actually did insert a like actual room tour of our new place that we're staying at. So I'll do it quickly now. So outside we have this beautiful view of like the city. So that's the pool down there. The beach is literally just like a couple of steps away and you're right there and then we have this like surrounding view of the city that's surfers paradise down over there you can tell by the q1 building just chilling out over there and we have this surrounding view of just this beautiful like skyscraper kind of scene but honestly like the view of the ocean is my favorite and the fact that we're like so close is just so good. But yeah, it's just been really nice and like having 
his company here. I miss him so much right now. I'm sitting here. I woke up this morning. I was like, <laughs> I miss him so much. But yeah, I'll like, keep you guys updated on what we do over the next few days. There's a few activities that I want to go. There's a few waterfalls I want to go see. But yeah, it's been such a great weekend, Valentine's Day. Like, oh, I didn't want it to end. <laughs> this trip's been awesome so far. So I'll keep you guys updated. I've literally just picked up the camera in the last, like, I think I haven't used it in the last few days. So I thought I'd catch you guys up. Sorry about not ending the vlog at all on valentine's day i just didn't think about it at all so i did hope you enjoyed this vlog if you guys want to keep up to date with all my latest vlogs videos tutorials anything like that like make sure to subscribe down below to my channel and i'll see you guys very soon bye